He says, so many will receive checks. The testimony will be, I don't know, I just had, please, I sent so so check, go and withdraw this money, you and your family, go and withdraw this money. Some will come as a lot. There is somebody, two person here that will receive a lamp this week. Yeah. Two person that will receive a lamp this week. Yeah. One will be in foreign currency. Somebody will call you on Thursday. Say, do you have any foreign currency account? That voice said, eh, I used to have, but I, he said, go and activate it. I want to push something into your account. That money is in foreign currency. That person, congratulations in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, what is happening? Say, we're transferred. We're transferred know me too well. What I'm saying is what I'm saying. It's a word transfer. It's I've started giving people Christmas bonuses. It's as many that like honoring me in their giving. As many that does not despise me in their giving. So do a certain time God said to me learn to honor me when you give offering and prophetic seed don't always look for the words to give to me it's not about the church, it's not about the pastor it's about me it's me you are giving just like you don't see me but by my breath I sustain you just like you don't see me but by my breath I sustain you you can't hold my bread, but I exist in you. He said, honor me in your giving. He said, those that have been honoring me in their giving. He said, their names has been submitted. He said, I will use the first and second and third week of December to pay them back. that honor me. I'm talking of me. It's not talking of the poor now. That is a blessing given to the poor. For giving to the poor. He said, those that honor me when they come to church, they honor me in their giving. They look at they say, no, this is too small for my God. This will be better for my God. He said, tell them wherever they are watching you from. He said, that's why I show you checks. Plenty. And that was why you couldn't talk because you are thinking whether it's your imagination. I told you, no, say what you are saying. He said, those checks, it's not, not only people here. So I have started signing already. I have compared men, the heart of kings are in my hand. And as many that are signing, giving, I said, I'm giving them hundred folds of what they have given. But it's I that is compelling them. Thank you, Father. As many that honor you in the house of God by their giving. Father, thank you for honoring them. He said, those that despise me, I will bring down. First Samuel 2 verse 30, he said, those that honor me, he said, I will highly take them up. Thank you, Father. Receive that money. Amen. Receive that money. Amen. In case if you're watching me for the first time, that's how this, what this one that they start with money. That's not what they told me. That is what God told me to say this morning. I see money. I see as I'm still talking, as if as if there is as if there is a box. Not as if, let me say what I'm I saw like a box. 
a boss and as hands are removing money, it's like the money is multiplying itself. He says, it's me distributing money. He says, so many standing here watching you will travel out of this country under emergency just to enjoy life. He said, this Christmas, this December will be the sweetest. He said, last year, the whole earth more. He said, this year, I have released my joy on earth. He said, it's a season where men separate themselves to celebrate me. He said, will I not give them things that will make them to celebrate me? Says the Spirit of God. He said, I've released money. I've released jobs. I've released open doors. He said, I'm releasing helpers. Your phone will begin to ring for money. Your phones will begin to ring for favors. People will begin to call you. Go to social agents. I'm sending something for you. It's a season of celebration, says the Spirit of God. He said, You will encounter favor. Tell them as much as you release, you at your capacity begin to give to other people that are better than you. He said, as you keep on giving, he said, that is how it's multiplying. As you keep on releasing, that is how it's multiplying. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Miriam, you are healed. The Spirit of God called you by your name. You are lying down in the hospital. Miriam, you are healed. And this is how you know it's God healing you. He has showed me your case. He said, don't mention it. The Spirit of God, as she said to you, you are free. From that shackles of death, you are free. I see people lying down in the hospital, sick of diseases and sicknesses that doctors can't diagnose. He said, I'm healing impossible cases. Anyone that is connected to this altar that is sick, I declare you healed. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I declare you healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, as many that are passing through any kind of hideous attack, I command those that attack you to come on that attack. Why you are free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I don't know what to call this sickness, but I've heard people who watch me on television, who watch me through social media, confirm they are healed. I don't know the name. Somebody will stay, the body will be smelling. Anyone that is having that demonic smell, you knew something, demonic smell is smelling around you. It's a smell to chase good things away from you. Is a smell to make men reject you. Is a smell to make people bring false accusation upon you. Is a witchcraft demonic smell. Is a foul spirit. If he enters a man, he makes the person stink in the sight of his helper. Anyone that such demonic smell is emanating from you, the demon responsible from those men are cast out of your lives. The demons are removed from your destiny. And I command the stinking foul smell cease in Jesus' name. And I pour you perfume of the Lord. He said, yes, begin to pour them. That is the perfume. That they are here. Perceive the smell of fragrance. He said, I'm changing their smell. I'm changing their aura. No more with their smell disappointment. No more with their smell rejection. No more with their smell shame. He said, now nah, they're smelling acceptance. Then you are smelling favor. You are smelling favor. You are smelling favor. You are smelling favor. You are smelling grace. Jesus. Thank you, Father. But I see them calling you in the office. He said, look at that person that is wearing white up and blasket. I look, I didn't know it's you that's sitting there. I see them calling you. Eh, we want you, you, you be in charge of this thing. 
is a something, as if it's something a, a company does once in a year. And you people will be in charge of so many things they nominated you to be in for. And that thing will give you good blessing. Because a huge money is being released for the benefit. It's like, I don't know whether it's welfare. I don't know what it is about where you work. It's a look at the person on skate. Black skate and white. That is the person. The minute I looked up, it was you. And I look and I discovered it was your face. They, will, they have nominated you already. That thing will bring favor to you. It will make you talk with people that are in top office in where you work. Says the Spirit of God. And because of the wisdom, how you and those people will do it, you will be nominated for something better. In the month of February, first week of February, in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I want to use that thing to bring you out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I see, I see something, somebody you are here. You've been working for long, you've not been working. But I see a cousin of yours, a woman. It's like an NGO. He will call you under two days. The person you are here is a woman and is a man. Is a man that that thing is coming from. You know, one thing at times when you say things, people who have high faith, God can duplicate it. But it's a man you are here. An aunt will call you and tell you, please, I just remembered you. So, so people are coming. They are coming with over trailer load of blessing. He said, this thing they are coming, you will work with them. And the money they will pay you and other money you will make. From January, you never saw such money. What I'm telling you, under two days, it will manifest. Says the Spirit of God. That man, congratulations. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I see somebody here as if you're preparing for, I don't know whether it's a barrier. It's a barrier. You're preparing for a barrier. And I saw somebody who promised to give you something. And the person let her change his mind on what he said he wants to give to you. And decide to give you a lamb. The money is entering your account this week. The money is entering your account this week. When you will see it, you will say it's a mistake. You will sit down to count the zero. You will sit down to count the zero. You will sit down to count. The person is preparing for burial. I don't know who the person, but it's like I saw a woman that a woman that is dead. I don't know who the person is. I saw somebody pushing an alarm into your account. I told you I saw checks and I saw money. I've just asked God what is happening. He says, say what you are saying. That is what I'm doing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I see another person again as if you own a shop. I don't know exactly what you are doing. You do sales, but it's like since this is how you know it's you. Since August, nothing was happening there. Nothing has been happening there. And I see somebody calling you like a brother from overseas. I see a brother from overseas. Sending you money. Sending, even asking you, I'm shipping in some things. Is it possible I ship so so thing for you? And not only that, the better brother is also shipping in cars. They marking my words. And you say, one of the cars, take it, it's my gift to you. Everything about this shipment, the only thing I want you to pray is that let it arrive by second week of December instead of third week of December. That is what the Spirit of God said, tell the person to pray. This very week you will receive the call from that your brother. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I see how near disappear. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see Hyena disappear. I see fibroid disappear. I see fibroid. I see one by the left side of the stomach. And I saw another one in the front and the lower abdomen position here. And I see a hand squeezing those fibroids. I command those fibroids melt away in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. I see somebody having a growth by the by the buttocks, by the right side of your buttocks. I saw a growth, the, a very painful one. You are planning to uproot it. You are planning to go for pressure for it because it's turning to something else. The plague sees in the name of Jesus. The plague sees. This is how you know God have healed the pain will disappear. Before, if you see it, it look as if they pour fire all over your body. That thing was a plague. It was a satanic deposit. You are healed from it in the name of Jesus. The plague sees in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. There is a woman here you have lived with four men. You leave, you come out. It's not because you leave. In fact, at the time, you say you're not interested in marriage. Anyway, you will enter. And you've been living, you will stay, walk with the person they threw you at. Walk with the person they threw you at. What is fighting you is what your mother's mother worship. That is what is fighting you. That is how you know it's you. I'm talking of four, you are live with four different men. I'm not talking of you live with them one year. I mean, you live with them until now. Any house you stay, they throw you out. Any with every good thing. In fact, right now you give money, you give a still they will throw you out. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus. The cause is hereby terminated. In the name of Jesus, that lady, the only way you have rest is you serving God, locate a department and sit down there and start go by it. You enter a covenant with God to fight. It is what the mother of your mother worship that is attacking you and attacking your family. Father, I give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, there is somebody that is having, I don't know, as if a pain, like a pressure under your leg, your right, this leg. Who is the person with your hand? It's coming like a pressure on this leg. Who is the person? Stamp your leg two times. Yes, it's coming. Just be stamping it. It's going Stamp it again, it's going. You used to have that pain in the night. Stamp, stamp it to ice, it's going. That is, that is the power of God. He's taking it away. That is what he showed me. He said, it's going, it's going. As you stamp it, I saw a demon jump out of your leg. Stamp it again. You cannot have it. Your mother have it. You cannot have it. You will not have it. It's not your portion. You are born of the incorruptible seed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. There is somebody here, if you swallow something, is paining you severely in the throat. If I call your case, you are here, you just come out so I can minister to you once. You are having, if, if, throat, a, you swallow it, look as if there's a pain in your throat. You're free from it in the name of Jesus. There's this person, you are having a burning sensation. In fact, that person is a breath on her. A, a breath, I don't know whether it's her or he, but her came out of my mouth. I don't say what it is. Like as if a fire, as if you're feeling restless all over your body. Who is the person? As if you're feeling restless all over your body. Who is the person? You're watching, there are many hours about it. Somebody here having that restless body this thing, you are that person where is the person, who is the person, you can wave your hand, who is the person, the person is here you are having that, I don't know there's nothing else to call, you know what I'm talking about, if you don't want to come out the power to solve it has passed but is it like a restless situation, as if your body, your bone is burning, as if you're feeling I don't know what else to call it you are healed from it in the name of Jesus Christ, but God tell me, tell me to pray upon you, if you didn't come out that there's nothing I can do about it it's gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Where I was ministering last, uh, I think last week, I mentioned God, the Spirit of God told me he's healing somebody of HIV. And I mentioned specifically the years. And immediately I finished. Okay, is it true? It's not here. It was, it was still around when the pastor called me. The lady came shaking. That immediately that word of knowledge came like, like I, as if his eyes, okay, cold water was poured on her. All the restlessness, all the pains, all the things, as if, as if her body was moved out, another body entered. And, she, and the pastor said, we, we've known her, we never knew, knew she was having HIV. And the stage she was, was the past stage. And she told me, I am healed. I said, go and check yourself. He said, Pastor, checking myself or not. I'm telling you, you don't know what that devil look like, HIV. And God is telling me there is somebody having HIV here right now. He said, I'm healing you. 
I'm healing you. That's the reason I'm narrating that story. I'm healing you. In case you are watching me, I don't know why this is on the screen. I don't know why this is. Please, in case you're, in case you're watching me, please listen to me. If you have HIV, you are healed. I've seen God, please heal. I've seen God heal. Use me to heal people. Can't less. I can't explain. But I know it's the power of God. Wherever you're watching me from, please, I'm not seeing anything. I'm just seeing logo. Is there anything the problem? Okay. Please, I'm begging in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching me from, just stretch your right hand. You are having HIV. You are having any blood disease. You are having any blood disease. Whether it's leukemia, any kind of blood disease you are having, just stretch your hand. The power of God is healing you right now. He said the power that is present is healing every blood disease, every blood disease disease, every blood disease, you are healed from it, your blood is healed your cells are healed, ah your cells are healed, your cells are healed your cells are healed, every, every disease of the cell, every affliction of the cell, you are healed of it in the name of Jesus you are healed, whatever symptom any kind of electric, I don't know what to call it, electric as it as there's electric movement in your body demonic electric movement flowing like a current that goes to your brain, shock you, I I don't know i don't know what it means as long as the spirit of god is not giving me name but it's narrating this state i'll be saying it anyone passing through that demonic electricity as if it flow from your head and shock you as if something is shocking you and then pain will begin to come that demonic demonic signs i gave now is here by destroying your spirit it's destroyed in your bones it's destroying your ankle in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. At times they call some things, I don't know how to call it. Somebody eyelashes is, is, is always doing, that is blink, not everybody vibrating. If the person that is having that problem, your, your, your eye is on his own vibrating. In the name of Jesus, I command the demonic vibration to cease. In Jesus name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Because of time, if you know, he said, I want to heal. If you know you have need of any healing, you can come forward here now. If you know you have need of any healing, you can come forward now. Thank you, Father. Any need of any healing. I do this in the morning now. I don't do it later after service. So I can have time to do other things. Any kind of healing, please come forward. Any kind. Of, and if you know you will not testify once you are here, please, with all respect, go and see it down. You know you hate to testify. Carry your problem and go and see it down. The God that he through me wants the glory return to him. If you know you have the struggle with you to give God glory, it they pay you. Just hardly, if there's no harm in it, go and see it down. God wants those he will heal, they will return the glory to him. He's interested in the glory. And I read it to somebody, I said, if they didn't, if the Bible did not narrate the woman of the issue of blood was healed, None of us would have believed that God has such a power to heal such cases. So the cases you saw in the Bible are signs to show you that the ability is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the Lord. So if you are the type that when God does something, it looks as if, I don't know, some beginning to have, I don't know the mindset. I don't want to go into it, but if you know, you can't be bold enough to give God, thank God, thank you. Please, and some healing after you've testified, demand for our uh, personal testimony where you can sit down, narrate your story, narrate what God uh, did for you, and it be recorded alone, just you. It's good to give God all the praise. It's good to give God all the praise. Anything God is glorified, the devil cannot if you refuse to give God glory, there's nothing God can. You cannot be made whole. 
we saw it come blessed places. Jesus will pray for people that we hear. He said, go to the priest and testify. Who have seen it in the Bible? Well, you have seen it. Jesus himself he said, go to the priest and testify. He's the one commanding them to go and testify in the congregation. He's the one telling them. Some of you say, take offering and with your and go and do what? Testify. Have you seen it in the Bible? It's Jesus doing that. Why is he doing it? So that all the glory will return to God. Once God is glorified, God protect. Once God is glorified, God defend. Once God is glorified, God watch over that and not re return again. And when you want to give testimony, say it with joy. Say it with faith. Say it to shamify Satan and to do what? Glorify God. Is that okay? A man came here, a lecturer, was a, with a portrait stomach, having a liver issue. I don't know whether you ever saw that man here. He was a lecturer. And God said to me, minister to him, I will hear him. And I ministered to him, he was here. And the man refused to give testimony. So like up to one month, I remember, I said, come. Your stomach is normal now. He said, yes, pastor. He said that I have even gone to back to uh, Uniport and changed my, he's a professor, changed my schedule to make sure I don't miss Tuesday services. I said, that is a good thing you've done, but have you given testimony? He said, no, how will I give testimony? I said, you are not giving it to me, you are giving it to the God that healed you so that this thing will not return again. He was passing out blood and he has a portrayed stomach. I never knew it was a liver issue. And God healed him. And I told him, he told me, Pastor, I can't do it. One, one or maybe after three weeks or thereabouts, I'm just trying to remember. I, we were, he came to me for something. I said, finally, have you given God the praise? He said, but God, no, I've been healed. I said, you need to return the praise to God. You need it. It's very important. It's not me that he to his God. Return, carry my God. I say, God, thank you. I say, even your healing, this kind of healing need thanksgiving. You told me all you have, I've gone for this thing. You have even traveled to India. He told me three countries. Have, the, the school sponsor one, two. He sponsored himself. Still, he was no better. He said, look at me, I'm, I'm here. I'm no more coloring as if I'm, you know, somebody that's drinking whiskey. You know, there's a way they are color. That's how the man is white. He said, look at me, I'm okay. And behold, I never saw the man again like two months. And I didn't know he wasn't coming and lying out. And the guy he brought became very close to me. The guy is coming. The guy travels, it's not around. And behold, the enemy stroke again. He came back, he woke up, was weak, and they rushed him to hospital. According to what they say, say they should rush him to this place. The vehicle that is coming to rush him before they get there, he died. He died. I said, You said what? He said, Mommy, you don't die. Don't joke with giving God glory. And that is how some of us at the end of the year, they say, Two times giving you carry popo and pen, I point, give to God. If it's Papa and Benaipo that God has been using to keep you since January. Some of you, if you tell you give God thanks, you get offended. No. Nobody's using you for any advertisement. Nobody. Nobody's using you. The meeting I went to, a man, an aged man, who watched that aged man on the video, who has seen the video, okay? Tell me, was their life? The man came with how many crutches? Two crutches. Two. The man told me he's 60 something. I saw a guy. He first said 60. And on his, in his hand, I saw written 70. I saw a guy. He said, no, no, no. It's a mistake. He's 70. <laughs> I saw on your hand, it's written 70. He first said, I'm 70. What? 76 or 70 something? 76. I said, Daddy, you'll be here. God said, minister to his leg. I said, how did you come in here? He said, you wouldn't want to know how I came in here. And after ministering to him, he said, walk. The man walked. The next day we went. I said, daddy, where's your crutch? He said, I don't need it. He said, the strength in my bone 
It's like when I was young. And after service, he called me and hugged me. He said, God, we bless you. I don't want to tell you where and where I've been for this thing to end. But look at how God free me. So, I'm not healing you. I'm a vessel. The healing power of God is in me. But the owner is the Lord himself. Is that okay? Whatever you need healing for, I want you to say it now in your heart. Lord, heal me of this. 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 There's nothing God cannot do. Lord, heal me of this. Cry to him. Cry to him. For him to bring you here, he want to free you. He want to free you. For him to bring you here, he want to free you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Once I stand before you, you tell me your case. Don't narrate. Don't narrate. Just tell me half so so. You are the best. Just tell me your diagnosis of so so thing. And anything I tell you to do, you do. Is that okay? Nobody collects money from you here. Nobody. When I tell you anything, I tell you to do. Nobody tells you to give anything. Now. If you feel on your own to return back to give God praise, that's your business. But nobody collects anything, nor give you anything for you to be healed here. Nobody does that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. What is it? How many for how many years? How many months? It just not quite. Let me say two months now. Two months. It's paining you. Yes. Come closer. It's gone. It's gone. And never to return back. How will you know you're okay? So short. It, it happens every minute, every second. Sometimes during night hours. I need to be severe. Like I would just be doing all, 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 all stuff like that. It's gone. Amen. It's gone. Amen. You're free. Sometimes when he comes. 
time is like that. If I take paracetamol, it doesn't go. How long have you been having a headache? For a long time, since I started giving birth. How for, long? For like Five three, years, two years, years, three months? For like three years now. Oh. And meanwhile, um, neck issue. Something in my neck that I cannot understand. And they cannot diagnose it. I've been to hospitals and I've... You prayed for me last time. But it's not gone. It's still there. Did you testify? Because it didn't go. I was waiting for it to... That is why it, That is what I'm saying. It did yeah. not leave. That is what I'm saying. When I prayed for you, were you feeling it? After you prayed for me, it was still there. So I was um, waiting that the moment it disappears, I'll come for testimony. No, I want to get you. When, when I prayed for you, did you... Tell me right there, is it there? Yes. You t- told me it's still there. I Did told you. And I didn't minister to you? Y- you prayed and prayed again and told me that it is gone. Okay, where is it? It's here. Can I, is this something I can feel? You might not feel it, but inside is there. I've checked, they have scanned me, but they can't see. It's demonic. out of this body now. Amen. Now. Amen. Leave your mouth open and pray healing power of God into you. Out. Are you ready? Out. <sighs> you people hearing her, they can't diagnose it. start to hear and you know the thing is still there because this is the first time I'm hearing this in ministry please I'm begging you insist on seeing me is that okay she's passing through. Since 2020. March. Since Corona year. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We go into your chair. I'm appreciating him. The one in your head is gone too.
is what they call demonic load. And as long as it's on that head, the person cannot be able to sleep well, do what he wants to do well. The person is under demonic pressure 247. And the power of God is destroying the pressure. Satanic weight on your head. It's out. <laughs> this is how you know you, you will feel very light. Let's go. Say for how many months? Two months. Two months. It also affects you in the night when you are sleeping? No, it will be calm in the night. It's calm in the night? Yes. It's in the day it starts? Yes. Oh, that, that is pure witchcraft manipulation. They, they, give, they load this to make you to be useless in the daytime when in the night you sleep. How do you feel now? It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. Yeah. It's calm. It's, see, you're feeling, it's feeling light. It's going. You're free. You're free. Go. During testimony, you will notice by then, you are, go, you're free. You're free. Let me call them. She's not that this time. Please, I hope people know nobody can join that line. Tell me, let me have Hanky. Why am I sweating like this? For six months now, I used to have pain on my knee, on my waist. But since Saturday, I feel severe pain. the reason you're having it. He said, for how long have you been having this? Six months. Man. Six months. Yes, ma'am. And now. It has been going like that now. You notice it's going freely now. Okay, be coming up now. Be coming up. Be coming up. Oh yeah, you can go now. Do that now. Do it the way you want now. Oh yeah, come up. Come up. Is out.
allow her to see me once I finish ministry I will sit down and I'll minister to her if I start now you will need up to three persons to hold her of the womb says now in the name of Jesus so what is the problem stomach deep you grow and go yes for how long since uh, Monday since uh, Monday yes small girl that came out in that meeting. Immediately I was looking at the guy, I saw a hole in her heart. And the doctors, they couldn't dictate it. And the child had been having a heart problem. She does what the child a serious heart problem without knowing the devil was preparing something for the family. And right there I saw the hole closing up. I've sent me say those things I say she should do to know they've done it. Say the child is okay. How do you feel now? The mic. I'm feeling good. Pastor. You're feeling good. Yeah. You're not feeling weak. No. You will begin to sweat. Go and sit down. If I start preaching, notice you are sweating. It's out. 
I'll not drink those things again, yeah? You are no more having a headache. Yes. Is your bone still feeling weak? No. It feels like to run. Yes. The idiot is out. Go and sit down. You start sweating. Since over four months now, one of my ear block. I, I can not hear well. And how many months? Since four. Four months. Yes. So you can't hear well with it. Now. Yes. Yes. Affliction shall not rise up this second time. You didn't talk of this one. Father, I decree. No good thing shall escape this hand again. In the name of Jesus. So can you hear now? You are hearing with the ear. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, go, you're free. I didn't even know it's my son's mother. He came and met me. Which day? Was appreciated. Was there hugging me, telling me I didn't know it. Mama, after service, on a day two now. After service and ministry, you and it is a woman on yellow. Okay. Mama, go and sit down. affecting my head and making me weak. 
God forbid, nursery is not good for a pregnant woman. Your baby needs air. Open. See this speaking. We will carry and finish. This became die for womb. Pray they came back to life. I'm laying hand today. Now the next one, I will not lay hand now. If I speak the word, you'll be looking at me like starfish. As if I'm lying. See how your miracle is taking time. Other people are patient waiting. The day I didn't lay hand does not mean the same power. I don't know. I know there's a reason I'm saying this. He asked me today, lay hand. But for long, I've not been doing I speak. And once you believe what. He has said through me, you're free. I will be a waging day away.
approaching them, God told them I'm also healing them. Sister, you're free. I like your faith. Where? My neck. I can't go play. You can't turn your neck? No, I have to turn my whole neck. I can't okay. Turn my neck. In the name of Jesus, wherever your neck is locked, Amen. I unlock it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command your neck free. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Turn your neck now. Do what you could not do. Are you doing them? You should say Jesus. <laughs> You're free. That's what I'm saying. If I didn't lay hand on you, the same power is what is flowing through my ways. All right? She's up. She's my right now. Eyes. Eyes. Yes, ma. I've been to several hospitals. Some said baby catch rat. Baby catch fire. Catch rat. Okay, okay. I yes. Some say this partial blindness. I can't see as if I go out. It's exactly the eyes of that man that was healed in the program. Yes. Look at the eyes. Yes. Exactly the same thing. Very red. Very red. That couldn't look. You see, in the daytime, he don't, can't. Yes, I can't even look at the television. I can't look at the light. That's the, the same thing. I can't look. Ima, okay, my media guy, you can't me. That's the same thing. He said, he said the it's name is called they said it's baby catch rat. Then I went to St. Joseph's in Bilichi. There's one hospital, popular hospital there. They said it's baby catch rat. I went to military hospital here. They said it's partial blindness. I went to Corinne Hospital, I Clinic, Old Abaro. There's a hospital there. I went there. Just several names I don't know. Oh, but it one. keeps getting worse by the day. Oh, for how long? It's 2019 June. That is how many years now? They try, not say they didn't get baby, get medium. Oh, God forbid. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I hate that man that was rejoicing all through. Because that's the only thing I noticed the same red. That's how that man are very red. Oh, oh Jesus. Same hand. Same power that I hate that man. Same power. Same God. Oh God, I remember the joy of that man. How he came to embrace me when I was leaving God. He had restored her sight. In the name of Jesus. That is the power of God. It has, it has come. As the power of God. As anointing. You be part they bring him to bring her to me. So, eh, thank you. Try, try your try your hope. Oh God. The man testified, Pastor, look at my eyes is no more red. I wake up to discover my eyes is no more. those questions. If you're having an eye problem, you can see some things. There are things you cannot see. Okay. And he said, 
Remove scripture, son. Okay, I can equally read that. Okay, you can equally read that. Come on, I put it up now. I read. And he set captains of war over ah, the people. Ah, he has done it for you already. Go, you are free. You are free. You are free. The man, the one man, say, wake up in the morning. The whole red disappear. He said, look at my eyes. My eyes is normal. So the same miracle. You are free. God forbid somebody knowing that the person is going blind. God forbid it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Father. We give God all the glory. We give God all the praise. The healing is free. Your own is to maintain your healing by making sure you make this place your home. Make sure you are here every Tuesday. Huh? The more you could want thing about demons. Once they've been cast out, they will make sure you find fault, look a way to you not to have a transport fair. They look a way to make you not to go there. Because they know the more you go there, the more they are crushed, the more you are free. So they make you feel get, get offended. So it's up to you to persevere because of what you are doing, what you are getting. Are you getting me? The more you stay in such atmosphere, the more their powers are broken. Now, after service, I want to pray for people believing God for jobs. I want to pray for them. People believe in God for open emergency open door. Please, you didn't apply for any place. No come out here. I'm talking to people who has applied, hoping, nothing. The Spirit of God said, pray for them before you go. And I gave two people a point.